and it was something that I did not expect that I would have to do at all. I was so surprised. Princess, fairy, cookie. Hello, I'm Callie and I'm from America and today I'm gonna to talk about English names. So one of the things that I had to do when I was an English teacher here in Korea was give kids English names and it was something that I did not expect that I would have to do at all. So the first time that a parent asked me to help them give their child an English name, I was so surprised. Um, Honestly, I felt a little bit uncomfortable at first doing that because I do feel like name is such a big part of your identity and I felt kind of strange trying to give someone their own name. Um, usually I would try to think of something common in the States, maybe Jessica or Sarah or Michael or Matt, something like that. But oftentimes a lot of the kids, they'd want something fun so they would end up naming themselves princess or fairy or cookie. I've had um, some funny names like that and personally I think they're cute and hey if it makes a kid happy for me to call them princess then I will call them princess. Um, but that being said I do think that in many situations it's almost better just to keep your Korean name. Sometimes I feel guilty because I feel like in many instances the reason why parents want their kids to have an English name while they're at an English academy is because it's easier for us as foreigners to remember the names and it just makes me feel a little bit bad because I'm the one who's in Korea and I think that I should get to know the child's real name. Um, also, I just feel a little bit more comfortable calling a child Jin or Soyun rather than princess or fairy. So my students one time, they actually asked me my Korean name and I thought it was really funny because I never thought of that. I never even considered giving myself a Korean name because I just can't imagine having a name other than Kali. But anyways, I told them that my Korean name is Kelly and they all laughed and thought it was hilarious and that just like that's the thing is my name is kind of hard actually for some korean people to pronounce because it's very similar to kelly which is much more common it's a very small difference i don't even know if you can hear it when i say it but kelly in kelly so it's very small and it was very difficult for a lot of people to pronounce kelly kelly and yet, I didn't even think about changing my name because I just couldn't imagine being called something other than Callie. It would feel really weird. So I guess that's kind of what gives me that perspective that you should just keep your own name rather than changing it. So I do think it is good to keep their own real name, but hey, that's anyone's preference. So you can change the name if you like to, but I think it's good to keep your real name. Uh, so my name is Callie, ah, Callie, and then the other name is Kelly, <laughs> K-E. Yeah. It's the same in Korean. Yeah, it's very, very similar, so, yeah. Many times, though, when, if somebody calls me Kelly, it's okay. <laughs> yeah.